All right, guys, so this is a quick setup manual for your tablet right here. So first things first, charging. So you don't need to charge it. Usually it comes with some battery, but this is your charging cable also to sync. If you guys need to sync anything to your computer, this is it. To charge it, again, you can just plug this in here and then to your PC in order to charge it up, or you can buy an adapter or brick in order to charge it up. So it's your choice what you guys want to do. A lot of people end up buying the bricks. Also, keep in mind that your SD card, if you guys have one, it's going to go right here. So that's on the side. You guys will see this tool that came with it. If you lost it for any reason, just get an earring. You guys just have to press here. And you have to press kind of hard and it just pops out by itself. So it's going to pop out. Let me just do a close up of that. Pops out a little bit, then just grab it out, and here's the tray for your SD card. So your SD card will go there. You don't need it, but if you guys want more storage, you definitely want to buy one. Once you place your SD card in there, you would just pop it back in. So there you go. So keep that in mind. You don't need one to set this up, but I'm going to show you that before we even get started. You should also know your buttons. So down here is the port to charge it up. On the sides, you guys will see your power, volume keys, speakers on the other side and that's about it don't really need to show you anything else so let's just get started to power it on for the very first time oh yeah by the way your camera's in the back but anyways to power this on for the very first time all we have to do is go on and press the power button and keep holding on to it until you see this the samsung logo so let me just turn this around so the very first time you power this on you should see this the galaxy logo everything should load just fine just wait for it. You will need Wi-Fi in order to set this up. And right away, you are going to see this. So I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit more so you guys can see better. Just press start. And then just choose agree to all because you have to agree on the bottom right hand side. And from here, there's um, a few ways to set this up a little bit faster. So you guys can choose Galaxy or Android device, iPhone or iPad. So that way, you can copy your settings for accounts and stuff like that. However, let's say you're brand new to this. You don't have to import anything or you don't want to import anything. You want to start fresh. So just set up manually. And actually, if you haven't had this before, it's actually kind of nice to just set it up fresh. So we're going to go on and choose our Wi-Fi network. In this case, it's this one. Put in your password. Once you press on connect, it should load up. It's going to get the tablet ready. Then we just have to follow through with everything that he tells us. So next up, if you've got any information that you guys want to transfer, this is the time to do it. And you can copy it or not. It's up to you. In this case, again, we're assuming you're brand new. So we're going to put don't copy. And let's just go and check for info or that it's not supposed to check for anything since we chose not to copy anything over. All right. So next up, we have to sign in with your Google account. If you don't have a Google account, I highly suggest creating an account. It's completely free. So go on and click on create account and then choose personal use. Now, I do have a separate video that teaches you how to create a Google account. So we're not going to go through that here because that's kind of extensive. But right now, if you guys have a, an account already, go on, put it in, put your password, press next. Or if you guys want to set that up later, you can. So just skip through that and we can go on and skip. But remember, if you skip, you're not going to be able to download apps and there's backups and stuff like that that you will not be able to go on and do. So it's very important to not skip the step unless you really have to. So you guys can go back and sign up. But regardless, whether you guys signed in or didn't, you can go on and just go to the next step. Scroll down, press accept on the bottom right hand side. Then I would just choose face recognition. It's the easiest one or pin. Sometimes you're wearing glasses that gets in the way. It shouldn't technically, but it does sometimes. And um, maybe pins just easier, especially in low light conditions. And just put any pin that you guys would like. It could be like zero, 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 zero. Then just press on continue. We're gonna press use anyway. I would not use a pin like that, for example, because that's way too easy, unless you really don't care. You just want people in your house to use it, or you're not really worried about theft, then put a pin just like that. All right, so your Samsung account, this is the time where you guys should create one. If you don't have one, you can sign in with a QR code or just sign in right here using your email. Right now, we're going to create one, assuming you guys are brand new. So we're going to tap on create account. If 
From here, you just have to tap here on I agree, and then just type in your email and password. Once you do that down here, it's gonna ask for your first name, last name, postal code. Then choose on create account. Keep in mind, again, you can skip this step. All right, what I'm showing you about creating accounts, just go back, but I highly suggest creating one. Do not press just on skip. Anyways, regardless whether you guys created an account or skipped right through it, just click on agree, and then you guys can choose light mode or dark mode. In this case, dark mode would not work for this video. You guys will not be able to see my screen that well. But for your eyes, actually, that's more personal for me. For my eyes, <laughs> it's actually better dark mode. I actually like that. For all my stuff, all my devices, I have them with dark mode. You guys choose whatever you guys like. Go on and go into next. And then from here, you're all set up, finished, and you are ready to go and use your tablet. So right now, the apps you guys will get are just a few of them. You guys can go on and sign up for more, actually download more right here on the Play Store. And remember that this comes already with some apps already pre-installed, so right here, we can see some of them. If I just click there, click away, and also in here, we're gonna see a few apps there as well. So those are all the apps you guys get. There's the Galaxy Store as well, where you guys can check out even more apps to download. End up tapping here on this option to see all your files. So right here, you guys can see all your files within it. But anyways, if you guys want to see a full-on tutorial, um, I just want to show you a little bit more about the apps here so you guys can see them in just one screen. But anyways, if you guys want to see a little bit more about how to handle this, then I do have a video that teaches you how to. But as far as this setup video, you're all done. You're all set up. You're ready to go. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.